Hi everyone, it's Tina and welcome to my channel, Real Talk with Risa Royalty 74. I have a special Can We Talk episode today and I wanna start making more of these just so I can kind of go over some things that I, my mind is just running around spinning with these ideas and I wanna share them and I want your feedback. I wanna know what you think. This episode is called, If I Ran the Zoo. And basically what we're gonna talk about is what would I change about the new features? We all know that Poshmark is doing their Posh Fest in October, and they typically release a new reseller feature for the web, website or platform. Um, and we're always excited. What's it going to be this year? You know, hopefully it's something that can actually help us, right? Um, if you've ever been in our uh, chat room every other Friday, myself and Danny B's Closet, um, we do a live resellers chat and you're all welcome every other Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love to have you there. But this is one of the things we have discussed in our live chat. What would you like to see as a new feature? So if I ran the zoo and I had the option to make these choices, these are the six things that I would offer as a new feature. <clears throat> Stay tuned and we're gonna dig in. Welcome back everyone, I'm so glad you returned. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you will be made aware every time we have a live chat. So number one, things that I would like to see as a new feature to offer for us resellers is let us see the views, show the views, please. A lot of other platforms do this. It's not hard. Facebook Marketplace does this and they just started offering this marketplace, well, way more recent than Poshmark did. So I would like to see a feature where we can click on any item in our closet or even scroll over and it would show the number of views by buyers. How many people are looking at our items? That helps us, that's great information for us because this tells us, is this item getting a lot of views? And if so, maybe I wanna start sourcing more of those type of items or shirts or pants or jeans or shoes. That lets us know what things are getting a lot of attention in our closet. Cause as of right now, we have no idea unless somebody likes it, we don't know what people are even bothering to click on it and take a look and explore it further. So that would help us out a lot. Feature number two, allow us to make an offer to somebody without adding in a shipping discount. Now I know what you're thinking. You're saying, wait a minute, Tina, you can create a bundle and in that bundle, you do not have to offer a shipping discount. That is true. However, in my experience, even when I first went on Poshmark and I wanted to buy an item before I even thought about being a reseller, um, someone's made a bundle for me and I got the notification and the, the weird notification wording says such and such is now styling you click and see what they're offering you. And I'm like, styling me. I don't need you to style me. Thank you. I'm good. Like what's who are, who are you random person? I had no idea what that even meant. I clicked on it and realized, oh, that's how they're making a bundle. It still was very confusing for a first time shopper on that platform. We know that we sell to first-time shoppers all the time. Sometimes they find us on Google and they click a link and try to make the purchase that way. They don't understand how it works. So because of that reason, I really shy away from bundles. Unless somebody adds something to a bundle, then I make an offer. Otherwise, I just, I just make them an offer on the item because that they can understand easier. I would like to make offers when people like my items without having to add in a shipping discount. I know there's a new feature where it's a $5.95 shipping price. So we only pay $1.50, which I really like that. And I use it almost all the time. Um, but I would like to just make a discount and not have to offer shipping. Just like on Mercari and, and uh, Facebook and other, other places, eBay. I can make an offer there. And it means I can drop my price a little bit lower too. And I can make an offer and I sell it and they cover shipping. And that's the end of it. I really would like to see Poshmark join the bandwagon and get on that whole trend too. Thank you, Poshmark. Feature number three, allow resellers to offer coupons for people that purchase items from our closet. 
I don't know if you guys have heard me talk about this in the live chat, but on eBay, they've created that new option that you can make a coupon. I designed my own coupon. It was super cool. And I was able to go through all my past buys or purchases and send that coupon to the people that I wanted to send it to. Just click, send a coupon, send a coupon. And it was like 25% off any item uh, within, you know, has to be a value of $20 or more to encourage repeat buyers. This is a fantastic idea. And I will tell you, it has really stimulated my eBay store. I mean, I am making steady sales every day that I was not making before. So I really like the idea of encouraging people to come back and buy again and giving them a, an incentive to do that. I would love to see Poshmark add a coupon feature for just that reason. Another feature, number four, I would love it if Poshmark would allow us to um, choose a heavier weight for shipping. So as it is right now, the shipping all covers five pounds or less, which is great. I mean, I mean, there are so many things I love about Poshmark. It's definitely my favorite platform to sell on because of the convenience for resellers there. That being said, I have made bundles for people that I was really nervous it was going to go over the five pounds because they're big bundles. And I want to encourage that. I want them to buy more than one item in my closet. However, I get a little nervous when it gets up to five pounds and then I have to go in. There is a way that you can go in and add more shipping, um, but I would love it if they just had that feature for like, say, five to 10 pounds and the shipping price just goes up for that. Um, most platforms have that besides Poshmark. Most other platforms, I can go um, on eBay and do, you know, heavier shipping. I can do, do it on Facebook. I can do up to, I think, 15 pounds on Facebook Marketplace. I would love to see that feature. That would really help when we're creating bundles. Feature number five, and I know I'm being creative on this one, you guys, but I think it would be such a benefit for us. I stole this idea from other platforms. I saw on um, TradeZ does it. I love selling TradeZ. Um, I've seen it on, I think Curtsy does it as well. There are a couple of the platforms doing it. I think it's really neat. I would like to see Poshmark highlight the Poshmark ambassadors one each day, a new closet, like just at random you know, anybody who's actively a Poshmark ambassador, you would choose that person and highlight it. As soon as people land on the landing page, either the mobile app or on the website, they would see right across the top that person in their closet, some items from their closet highlighted as Poshmark ambassador of the day. They could do one every day for years and still not even touch 10% of the Poshmark ambassadors, but that would be really cool. And it would highlight our closets once in a while. And it'd be something to look forward to. I think it's fun. I think it's new and exciting. And I would love to see them add that feature. Feature number six, last and certainly not least, I will keep harping about this one feature forever until they decide to actually add it in. Please Poshmark, add this feature. The feature is to allow us some type of um, guide, offer guide, when a person that is thinking of buying an item wants to make an offer to us, the sellers. So the way that works is you've probably seen it on Macari. Macari has this guide. You like an item and you click the button for make an offer. As you set the number, Macari will give you like a red zone or a green zone, like, no, 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 you're going too low or you're, going, or you're just right to let you know if that's an offer that is likely to be accepted by the seller. So if an item costs $20 and I send in an offer and I put down $6, Poshmark is gonna send me that red warning when I put in the number before I click send to tell me the seller is not likely to accept that offer. It's a low offer. And some people literally just need some help with understanding how much is acceptable and how much isn't. Um, it's not that they necessarily want to be nasty or mean, they just don't know. So this would be great offer guidance for our purchasers. I would, it, I know it wouldn't take much work. It's just a software item. If they could add that in, that would take a lot of the, the questioning and the drama and the anxiety out of this whole purchase for the buyer. And oh my gosh, what it would do for us, the resellers. I would be so grateful for that because on Mercari, I rarely ever get a lowball offer. I just don't. And I love it. 
thank you. I appreciate that very much. <laughs> um, on eBay, you can set it, you know, the lowest offer just automatically declined if it's a low offer. And I see on the side, sometimes all the offers is automatically declined. I don't get the notification. I'm grateful for that. I don't need it. I want somebody who's serious about buying an item, a reasonable offer. It allows them to understand what a reasonable offer is. That is the one that I will always keep pushing for. Please Poshmark, save us the drama. <laughs> There's nothing like waking up in the morning and checking my Poshmark app and seeing this, okay, for example, this happened today. I have to share it. A woman had a bundle she created. It was $186 for all these items. It was like 10 or 12 items in there. A lot of items. She sent me and I made a note to her. Hey, I saw that you're liking items. Let me know which items you'd like me to bundle up for you. And I can send you an offer. I already have an automatic offer a bundle offer of 25%, which is a really good, decent discount for three items or more. Um, and so the person just made a bundle with all of those items and sent me an offer for $60 on a $180, $186 bundle. No, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Number one, I can't get it all in one box or under five pounds, because there's so many items in there. So it's going to increase the shipping cost. But obviously I went back and said, Hey, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a 25% discount already, which brought it to $138, which is great. I'm willing to go to 122 for you. And she came back with another counter for 80 and I just declined and walked away and I was done. But my point is people like that need guidance. They need to know what is likely to be accepted. You know, what would this person most likely say yes to? Uh, so anyway, Poshmark, listen to your reseller community, please help us out. And for you, the viewer, I want to know, are there any items listed that you would like to add to? Like what other options would you like to see? What new features would you like to see that would help you out in your reselling business? Let me know below because I'm super excited to read it. I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a wonderful reselling week.